the new version of SpaceX Starship will definitely look astonished and operate smart. You know we are living in a world where technology is fast growing and almost every gadget or machines we use has technology inclined features. Being very smart like a robot or a perfect picture is a smart house. And that ticks another Elon's aspiration to equip the Starship with several smart features so that it will be super easy for humans to interact with it. Just looking at the Starship, and you know this is something truly different from another rocket that has existed. And now that it will be built with smart systems, the Starship will definitely look like a sci-fi space rocket we see in movies, and it becomes so real with its fish-like fins that works for soft landing. The component pack multiple packed smart features in the rockets reminds one of the high intelligence of Tesla vehicles, with its wide control touchscreen mounted at the dash. No doubt the Starship will operate on another level of higher taste of flexible technology in our digital age. It would be more than interesting to see SpaceX beat the NASA Boeing rocket to the moon and back with a self-driving starship. Stick around as we discuss more about SpaceX's recent smart upgrades that changes a whole lot about the functionality of the Starship. Have you thought that one day the Starship will operate pretty smart? And at a point, it will start using remote controls like a smart house. Everything may be converted into electronics except for the Raptor engines. Let's first look through the previous main features of the Starship before the upgrades. As known, the Starship is a gigantic stainless steel rocket of 400 foot tall, taller than NASA's SLS rocket. Elon Musk by the idea of using stainless for the production of the Starship due to its relatively low cost. Unlike NASA's Mega Moon rocket that flies on superchilled liquid hydrogen and oxygen, this beast Starship is fueled with 10 million pounds of liquid methane and oxygen. The fuel can be stored at more manageable temperatures than liquid hydrogen, meaning it doesn't need as much insulation and it's less prone to leaks, a problem that is imminent in almost all NASA's launches. NASA intends to change the scope of space research, and that's the origin of the age Agencies plan to use starships to land astronauts on the moon during Artemis 3 and 4, two upcoming missions which could come as early as 2025 and 2027, respectively. Starship will transport astronauts from NASA's Orion spacecraft to the lunar south pole and back during Artemis 3. But in the fourth mission, Starship is planned to dock with the yet-to-be-built Gateway Space Station and shuttle astronauts back and forth to the moon. That's to show that the Starship has a whole lot of work to carry out up there in space. The the Raptor engine of the Starship has been upgraded to the latest Raptor 2 version, and this is not a child's play because every latest engine or technology system has to consistently undergo upgrades, if need be, to keep it optimized and efficient, just as we have different models and year of a car and different versions of an iPhone. A system must not be built perfectly before it's released into the market. Thus, upgrades have to be done while prioritizing customers' feedback. Hence, with 33 Raptor 2 engines firing the booster, SpaceX says Starship can launch up to 150 tons to low Earth orbit while still maintaining its usability feature as a game-changer and backbone of cost-effective rocket launch. Elon Musk has forecasted plans to build about five Starship in 2023 increased Starbase useful output, and that means five flight-worthy Starships and five Super Heavy boosters will be developed this year. This was known when Tesla owner Silicon Valley tweeted on January 14 sub th slash sub and asked, how may Starship is SpaceX looking to build this year? Then Elon Musk replied the tweet saying, about five full stacks. So, we should expect five heavy Starships roll out from their bays at Starbase base this year. Around 2022, SpaceX ultimately produced two full stacks, with the third one S26 and B10 likely to be completed. So, to deliver five full stack Starship this year, it means five ships and five boosters will be produced, making it ten separate and half rockets, and should stand 400 foot tall when fully stacked on each other. Therefore, we will have five Starships ready for moon missions. But qualifying and testing all the five full-stacked starships to be flight-worthy is what will eat up all the time. It might take long, from launch pad testing to static fire test down to the first test flight. All may happen in a couple of months. And it shouldn't drift off our mind that starship production has many challenges of its own. And until each prototype is deemed okay after tests, there will always be room for maintenance. Any starship that doesn't perform well during the testing phase will be moved from the launch pad to its bay where further systems screening will be carried out. After a long and painful regulatory process, the FAA finally completed an environmental 
review of SpaceX's Starbase, Texas facilities, permitting only a maximum of five Starship orbital flight per year, and on no circumstances will SpaceX launch the Starship more than five times per year. Of course, that will be a hindrance for Elon Musk to transport humans in hundreds per Starship to Mars, but for the sake of carrying out the first orbital test of the Starship, that is a way to go. Considering the fact that no super heavy rocket in history has flown five times in its first year of launch activity, a record Starship is set to break. SpaceX could practically halt production entirely in 2023 and still have a full year of testing ahead of it, while only using ships 24 to 26 and boosters 7, 9, and 10. The Starship first stage known as the Super Heavy will be jam-packed with 33 Raptor engines, including 29 gimbaling Raptor engines at the outermost ring of the booster, 10 gimbaling engines in the middle ring and three gimbaling central engines in the innermost ring. As SpaceX continues to improve Raptor and gives each Raptor engine more thrust, this number is expected to reduce in the future. The Starship upper stage is integrated with six engines, three vacuum non-gimbaling engines, and three sea-level gimbaling engines. Future upgrades of the Starship will definitely hang our expectations in the sky as SpaceX keeps looking for new ways to boost the Starship's power in the future. The company recently declared it might have found a new approach to rocket propulsion. According to SpaceX, it has successfully tested a propulsion technology that defies physics. So, here is the mind-blowing upgrade SpaceX is preparing to remodel in the Starship, which of course defies the laws of physics. It's no other but the rocket propulsion system, which SpaceX has decided to raise to another level. With the help of electrically charged gas, the rocket propulsion system can travel at speeds of up to 65 kilometers per second, or over 135,000 miles per hour. The engine is built from cold gas thrusters and and super light carbon fiber fuel tanks. It will not emit fossil gas into orbit because it uses no propellant of any kind. Instead of using combustion to create thrust, the engine accelerates superheated plasma using magnetic fields, which also ensures that no gases are released during combustion. These types of engines are known as electric thrusters, but they work very differently from those used in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. These thrusters create thrust by propelling pressurized gas, whereas electric ones produce a charged plasma that emits ions to push a craft forward. According to reports, SpaceX's electric engine is more advanced and powerful than typical grid ion thrusters and can power crew missions to Mars and beyond. Because it takes less propellant, which can be expensive to launch into orbit, it could also reduce the amount of time the cargo starship takes to travel through space. Before it is suitable for space flight, the technology must undergo more testing and development. It has been submitted for peer review, and according to NASA specialists, it appears to have promising, at least on paper. But in reality, it may be expensive to develop and launch into orbit. Elon Musk insists he can travel through space at great speeds despite the fact that some people claim it is impossible to do so. But can that be possible in reality? Since any object that travels at the speed of light will ultimately exist in infinity, that is, living beyond the existence of time. Let's watch out how Elon plans to do it though. Elon's plan is to develop an engine that can travel at light speed and get us to Mars in about 70 days. Such an engine would allow for speeds more than 186,000 miles per second, breaking laws of displacement in physics. Do you think employing electric thrusters to accelerate the Starship will be a game changer to increase the Starship's speed? SpaceX's has also announced Starship launch infrastructure final decision. Take a deeper look into this just clicking in the video.